In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make any background white in Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia and in this channel, I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. Now that you know me, let's go to the video. So for this video, as I said before, I'm just going to show you how you can make this background to be white. And what we are going to do is pretty much select our model, remove the background and add some glowing to her contour because when we have a white background, there is a lot of light going to the background and this light it will be reflected back in our model. So we want to do a little bit of white glowing on her as well to simulate this light from the background hitting back on her. Let me delete this folder and now let's duplicate our background. Here I'm just gonna model selection, I'm just gonna write model selection. We are gonna select our model so I'm gonna go to this selection tool right here and I'm gonna choose select subject. If you can see the selection is already pretty good however around her hair we have some problems here and we will need to fix this a little bit. So the selection is pretty much good. What we are going to do now is go to select and mask and we are going to refine our selection. So the first thing that I want to do is to refine the selection that it's already very good, but I want to make even better. So for that, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to change this to black and white. And as you can see, our selection, it has some kind of, it's, it's, it has some edge here that's not very smooth. So what I'm going to do is to make this selection a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to add a little bit of smooth here. I think this is good. Also at the same time, I want to have a selection that's a little bit more crisp. So I'm going to go higher in the contrast and you are going to see that our selection now is making the white be very white and the black be very black and now the edge of our selection is a little bit more precise so i think this is good for me the hair is still not good but we are gonna fix this later so i'm just gonna hit okay and now what we are going to do is go to select and mask again now we are gonna work with the hair what we are going to do in here is use this second tool that it's going to make a little bit more a precise selection for her hair. So let me go back here to the photo. We can do it even the, on white. I'm going to get a little bit closer to her hair and we can see that there are many spots here that are not supposed to be selected because it shows the background and it is just not very very um, perfect selection so we are going to try to make this a little bit more perfect and we are going to ask photoshop to redefine the selection so i'm gonna just go with the brush here And I'm going to go all around her hair as well to redefine this selection. Okay, now it's looking way better. I'm going to go to the contrast here and I'm just going to make the selection to be a little bit more crisp. And this is looking really good, way better than before. I'm going to go and I'll put settings. I'm going to select here layer mask. So now when I hit OK, my selection is going to be create in the mask as well. 
Now that we have created the selection for the model, what we want to do is to create our white background. So I'm gonna go to filters here and I'm gonna select solid color. I'm gonna choose the color white. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna move this layer to the middle. And now we have the model in the white background. Now that we have our white background, we still need to work a little bit more in her hair. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna go get closer to her hair and I'm gonna click on the mask and right here I'm gonna select the dodge tool and I'm gonna go in this part here of her hair and I'm just gonna paint and what this is doing as you can see it is just showing more of her hair so it's making our selection here to be more precise and better and look more natural so I'm gonna go just around her hair and you can see that's bringing back some of her hair that was lost in the selection. And I think this is pretty good for me. So this is before. And this is after we use the dodge tool. And it just fill out more of her hair. If you think that it doesn't look good. Because right now this part here. At the same time that it's bringing her hair back. It's bringing a little bit of the background as well so i'm gonna go and select the burn tool and i'm gonna go back select the mask and i'm gonna go back to the mask and i'm gonna actually remove a little bit of this hair here with the background yes that's looking very good and that's good for me now you have her hair looking way more natural. So what we wanna do right now is to do that glow from this light that it's supposed to be hitting her back from the background. So what we are going to do is to double click the layer and we are gonna go to inner shadow. And as you can see, if you look here, I'm gonna do opacity at 100% change the layer, Your, yours might be multiply, so you can change the layer to overlay, and you can select the color white. Go with the opacity to 100% so you can see better what's happening. But as you can see here, it's creating a little bit of that glow on her. So I wanna have this glow on her to simulate the, the lights coming back from the background. And I am just gonna just here angle to 90 so it's coming very perfect and straight. I'm gonna say okay. And it might be a little bit strong. There is some glowing on her hand here that it's a little bit too strong. I kind of don't want that actually. So what I'm going to do is to right click in the FX and now I'm gonna select create layer. So that effect that was inside of this layer is now created in a different layer. So what I'm going to do is to remove the opacity to zero and I'm just going to start bringing back this light. And I think 50 is pretty good, it's already doing some work. I'm going to also create a mask. I'm going to go to my brush and I want to remove this light that is hitting her hand a little bit. I'm going to lower the opacity here of my brush and have the black color selected. And I'm just going to remove a little bit of the glow from her hand and from her pens, just a little bit. And now you have the before and after with the glow. It does make the photo more realistic. And here's the before and after with our old background and our new background. Click the like button if you like the results. 
Now you know how to change any background to pure white. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video here on this screen and also subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new videos every week. Until next time.